see this metaphor ongoing and growing between Angel himself and the idea of coyotes. You know, coyotes are playful. They uh, include a lot of trickery. They are very intelligent creatures. They symbolize patience and resourcefulness and adaptability. You know, it's one of these things of highlighting this uh, sense of weakness or deception. And oftentimes coyotes uh, deceive human beings in order to steal food from them, or in this case, uh, steal funds in order to survive. That he's mute, he's not speaking, he doesn't really speak, but you know, his body language speaks miles. You know, we essentially get to see him be assaulted and treated like an animal as he is in these sensual moments with people. As we get to see this metaphor grow uh, with the coyotes, you know, they come to him, you know, they come in a pack as they come to find food and eat. And you see these moments where he's having his hand up and almost licking the blood off himself. And eventually we see himself harm on his arm and lick that blood off of him. And, you know, we get to see that essentially his beacon of light is uh, the narrator, the friend, possibly even a romantic interest as we see them share a kiss. Um, but I think it's more of a friendship than... Um, a love story, so to speak. Very tense in this life that he's living, um, where through his friend's stories, you kind of, you gain the sensation that um, this isn't a world that he enjoys, but it's a world that he does in order to survive. Um, and I think the biggest thing that struck me was the, the story of the dream with the coyotes uh, and the tree and how she compares that story to him where uh, he's trapped in this world that he wants to get out of. Uh, that world of prostitution. Um, but I feel like the coyotes are his clients where the moment he leaves, that's when things, like the moment he leaves that tree, uh, the tree of being subservient, that's when things are going to get very violent and dangerous. Um, there's a lot of deep context with this one. And like I said, it, it does a very good job of uh, conveying a lot of those emotional elements. It's not afraid to make you uncomfortable. Um, and it was very masterfully done. I love that this was all told in voiceover. When it says Angel wasn't a talkative person, it really made the point when his friend is talking over her, over the whole thing, showing what's going on. This also shows how lonely sex work is, where Angel is going through client after client, but is miserable to the point where he disappeared and it made it clear why he was doing it. it he wanted to leave a life behind. Where he went, who knows? Even his friend didn't. But her paintings and her drawings leave a part of him behind. It was something that definitely was something that you'll remember watching this. It was very powerful not having the main character talk at all where you see his life day to day and a friend that cares about him that he clearly didn't know cared about him. This was a very moving story. I thought this was really, really intense. I thought it was really, really well told. I loved the use of the art in it. I loved the use of the voiceovers where she's kind of reflecting on who he is as a person and her relationship with, you know, him over the course of the film. So I loved how they kind of overlaid all of those things. And 
you just saw him kind of slipping further and further away, losing more and more of himself. Um, so I thought it was really, really powerful. It was really, really intense. I thought it was a beautiful and tragic and very sad story, story to tell that kind of tugs at your humanity and, you know, what led him into that position, what, you know, choices led him there and what circumstances and, you know, if he didn't have any other choice. And I, like I said, I just thought it was really, really beautiful in a kind of tragic, heartbreaking way. Um, but I loved how they developed the story. I loved how they told it. I loved the point of view that they gave. There was a well done piece built, built around um, a young queer sex worker um, working um, at the edges of society and how he's and how his relationship with his clients, his relationship with, I believe his sister, I don't want to be incorrect about that, with the female um, protagonist, how it um, affected um, his psyche. I thought there was a lot of interesting um, ideas about um, human connection, um, trying to find yourself within the piece that I thought were uh, very strong. I thought that the sexual energy and the piece really sort of matched a lot of the themes um, that the, the narrative was trying to explore and allowed for a very emotional and a meditative um, approach to a, um, a concept that might seem salacious to other people, but I thought had a strong human component that made it um, easy um, to connect to.